welcome to the cloud network in this tutorial let us install debian that is version 7.6 on your virtual box or you can install on your laptop or else you can install it on servers and also in, you can install your desktop also with the help of you can install with pen drive you need to have 4 gb pen drive at least free space and you can have also dvd writer in that that is you need to bootable so that you can after you can install with its pen drive and see dvd also and uh, let me tell you what is debian debian is a free operating system that runs on your computer and also with the basics uh, programs and utilities that helps in the debian and let me show you the link where you can download this is the link uh, where you can download debian and i will show you about this link uh, just open the google and type debian after typing the debian this is the website you can see uh, just uh, click on this download page and when you click on this download link you will be coming to the website of debian so you can see on this screen the website of debian and it's the version 7.6 that is the latest version and this is your uh, debian website here is the download link where you can download from http or ftp or you can download from torrent so these are the three methods here as given you can download your debian and see we can download uh, after clicking on this table and this is the test distribution is a method uh, you can find this is here also uh, download via ftp http or you can download via torrent so when you click on torrent here this is a site you can download from torrent this is a 64 bit amd processor and this is for the three i i a 64 i360 this is 32 bit 64 bit for cd purpose is given for dvd purpose you can download this one and this is a size at least of you can see this is a size yes given years when you scroll down on this site 650 sites mb so the size of cd and for dvd size given 4.4 gb size for making this is a 64 bit purpose and 32 bit also is given here and for 64 30 bit when you click on this uh, amd 64 bit uh, it will be you see here it will come on the page uh, you can download this debian 7.6 version with the uh, dvd1 or so you can download dvd2 dvd3 any of this one if you click here showing this 7.3.7 gb or 4.0 gb so this one i have already downloaded uh, you can see yeah this one which i have already downloaded let me show you how to install your virtual box uh, this is my virtual box just click on new and type debian uh, select your version whether 32 bit or 6 click on next and give a uh, rank size according to your purpose do not go beyond to this red point click on create click on next next uh, this is your hard disk size which you want to assign how much you want to give uh, at least i am giving 30 gb and this is the location where your hard disk is going to storage so i have changed my location if you want to keep the default location you can keep it click on create uh, just go to the settings uh, go to systems uncheck floppy scroll down after that you need to go storage assign your iso image where you have downloaded or where you have uh, saved click on ok go to net network and go to bridge uh, bridge adapter this is for internet access outside installation click ok and just click on start so this is the method uh, you, you can download from normal this installation this is graphical installation this advanced this is install with speech synthetics so i am going to install with a graphical installation press enter You need to select your language, uh, click according to your purpose language, select your language and uh, select your location where you stay, where you click on next, uh, this is a keyboard language, select according to your language, click on continue, this is detecting CD or DVD ROM, scanning, uh, loading the CD components.
now we we need to assign a host name i am giving cloud network uh, you can keep uh, default also name i am giving cloud as a host name click on continue uh, you need to enter uh, domain name if you have a uh, i am going to assign my domain name to cloud network dot in click on continue and uh, we need to assign your password for this cloud this is a root password we are assigning please remember this root pass password so press attack and type again this is a root password please remember not a user password we need to set up a full username so i am giving full username this cloud network and type a uh, continue and uh, we need to give a please assign the username full uh, username for this you are logging uh, showing about this uh, enter a username click on continue so choose a password for this username so i am giving the password uh, please remember this password for this user login which i have created for cloud click on continue and setting up clock configure which country you belongs to whether you belongs to alaska or central click on continue so this is the disk partition we came and here is showing about this if you want to go for this uh, automatic partition means you need to select of this one if you want to go with the uh, use android disk set lvm means you can select or uh, you want to encrypt with lvm you can set or if you want, if you want to have manual give partition means you can select i am as using uh, automatic partition cre creation so click on continue here is my the size which i have given 30 gb and upon this i am this is the csa one sda is giving and click on continue and showing about the selected partition all files in one partition recommended for new user uh, separate partition for home or separate partition for slab or something so i am going to select all partition not all partition in one recommended for only one user and if you have so many want to use that means you can need, you can select this option so that it will be have a different partition so I will select these all files in one partition because currently I have only one user so I am going to select this one only if you have two more three user means you can select this third option so click on continue so finish this partition and write to these changes if you want to do un undo changes means click here and go to back and do changes and here is I have made a final changes so I am going to click on continue so here is showing about the if you are, if you continue the changes will be written to the this otherwise you will be made to any future manually you to do manually so here is the automatic partition created showing about the accession for is created swap is created too. so i am going to click yes and we go for the continue uh, so here partition formatting started so it will take us some time so you can have it in copy or t So here is asking about use network mirror. So this is the network I use to supply software including this may take the new version. So I am going to select no only or click continue. Select uh, software installation or uh, just uncheck the printer server standard system okay if you want to have sql database or dns if you want to install this you can check this one and click on continue install graph loader click on continue Now the installation is completed, uh, we need to reboot now, 
क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू इट्स रिपोर्टिंग Now we need to log in here and type in the password. Put a small screen in desktop. You can do like this. This is a full screen. See, you can make the screen. Uh, this is a Installation and this is the application where you can access uh, this is a terminal and this is an internet browsing system places for files where you can see access this is a computer this is a internet uh, this is the audio sounds and this is your file system where you can save it you can see network and this is a internet connection you can see yeah here is a, this is a DBN where you can shut down and log off and you can log this system or system setting is here uh, this is an available if you want to keep busy we can keep this is the time is showing so so this is the end of my video uh, if you get any problem due to the installation uh, so you can comment below to my video so thank you for watching my edit coordinate video please subscribe to my channel thank you